If you're struggling to start your car, maybe you need one of these Repco multimeters. I'm going to show you how to use them so that you can test the alternator and test the battery. So I've started this car, I've got the engine running now and I've turned the headlights on. So what we're going to do now is check the battery and the alternator. I'm going to put on my safety glasses because this battery's got a fair bit of acid attack around the top of it. Um, it's sulfuric acid and I don't want any of that to get in my face or eyes and that's why I'm wearing gloves on this job too. I get my multimeter and I set it to the DC side which is off to the left scale and I set it to 20 volts because I know that it's 12 volts, some cars may be 24 volts or more if they're hybrid. So first of all, we need to get the red probe and put it on the positive side of the battery terminal. Now, how do we identify that? Well, first of all, there's a red cap. So red and red are good. However, the red cap could be on the wrong side. So we'll also look for an identification on the battery. The battery has a plus, I can see, inscribed into the plastic top and sometimes we see pluses on the top of the posts. So I'm going to put the probe onto the positive and then anywhere on the car that is bare metal will give us an earth or the negative side. So we're showing 13.85 volts so we know from that that the alternator, this unit here, the powerhouse that makes all the energy for the car is functioning because it's greater than battery voltage could ever be if the engine wasn't running. We would never see more than 13.2 volts without the engine running. If you want to check your battery voltage independent of the alternator, just repeat these steps without the car and headlights turned on. So as you can see, it's so easy and a lot of fun. And it doesn't take very long to keep an eye on your powerhouse in your car.